Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 10th edition of Kwivuka. Whereas other teams are taking a full rest today, we have a match between Nigeria and Kenya. With me, I have the two captains, Fever Esibe, the captain for Nigeria, and Esther Wachira, the captain for Kenya. Heads is the call and tails on top. Uh, Fever, you've won the toes. What will you be doing this morning? Why are you choosing to field first? Stay, if you had won the toast, what were you going to choose this morning? The toast, the toast did not go your way, so what is the plan as you're going to bat first? What looks like a defendable target against the Nigerian team? Thank you so much, Esther, and all the best. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it very loud and clear. The captain for Nigeria has won the toss, and she has opted to field the first against Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evan Cyprian Sajapi in the commentary box, and I'm not alone. I will be joined in by two good voices, the voice of Katia Wamahoro and later on the voice of Zed Khan. But start off proceedings here, I'll start off everything with Katia. Good morning, Katia. Very good morning, Ivan. That's it off with a dot. Pitching that one outside. And that one will be the only fielders outside the sub. Swing. She manages to get the cup there. That ball beats the fielder. Into the pads. Flicked off very nicely there towards fine leg. Goes big this time. She manages to pick it into the pads. Up in the air. But that will see another boundary. One boundary. One to the pads, flick vent, they say that will see the cup. Again, takes that edge, helps it, tries to whip it past the leg side and it goes to the boundary ropes. Second boundary of final way. Punish this time, absolutely clubbed. Has it gone all the way? 40s. Possibly 50s. Let's wait and see. Powerfully struck. This time has gone the distance. Oh, goes over. Good line there and good fielding and the run out chance. Yes. Run out it is. What really happened in there? Lack of communication. Horrible. Our top edge and beats the fielder. Will that be a boundary? Yes, it will be. Smashes it through covers this time. Powerfully struck and a misfield there by the Nigerian side. Will that be a boundary? No. Lovely recovery. But they will pick up valuable runs. They've got to run hard. Oh, lovely looking shot using the pace of the bowler has this another big swing there struck powerfully that goes into the air there is a field there running Salome Sande some good pick up there but she manages to keep it inside they call to go for two but there is some risk running there from Quinta Abel miscommunication there from the batters and that's how Quinta loses her wicket Another big swing, struck powerfully to the ground. That is into the gap. International matches. Into the block ball. Straight to the hands of the fielder. Run out is the call. And yes, I think these batters here for Kenya, they need to work on their communication to put the through. A 
Another one there struck pretty powerfully, powerfully. That will fade the boundary. That's when you need a player with such an experience. Another one straight up in the air. Chance for a catch. That is taken. The 30 yards back. Big swing there. That is up in the air. Straight to the fielder who completes a beautiful catch. She did not move, need to move an inch to take that catch. Those runs that come in the last overs always bring the difference. Just places it into the gap. They go for a risky run, but that should be it. And knocks her over. There she is charging in again. And this time has been squeezed through point. It's as simple as picking up singles. Plays it in the air, goes over the fielders. Will that be a boundary? Yes, it will. Runs on board. Yeah. Smashes that once again in the vacant room. Strike rate at the moment. And knocks her over with that in swing, beautiful delivery through the gates of defense of the captain. for three or five deliveries 13 boundaries and one maximum has been make that four tickets also hard hands beats the outside edge and races away for an in swinging delivery and she knocks her over what a delivery there by and Wanjira copy paste to her first wicket that she picked up. Squeeze there has been. Pops it in the air. Shika is the call, but nobody to catch that as it races away to the. knocks her over with that magical delivery once again three in three whenever she pulls out that in swinging delivery it tends to be very very fruitful cricket. loud appeal the finger is straight another one they are to their own side she Swing there, but that faints the gap. Yeah, but this boat is seeming last settling in. Another one outside of Stam. Big swing up in the air. Should be a catch. That is taken to see off Salome Sunday. Yeah. Swing and a miss. This time she gets contact. There is a fielder, but that lands into the gap. Get a lot of stability in the opening batters. Another one. She swings across. She pays for the risk. Just the runs. Once again lofted and a catch has been very, very aggressive. She's been this Sunday. Top edge, wicket, and wicket it is. Fielder gets underneath it and went for the bait. It was tossed way outside of Storm. Slaps it towards the left side and a boundary. What they have is saying keeping the strike there for Ude. It's it past the bowler this time and goes through the legs of the fielder. <laughs> Top edge catch and catch has been taken. Kenya finally pick up the final wicket. 24 runs needed in 30 deliveries, but Kenya pick up the last wicket sigh of relief there we have the scorecard with the lady and their top scoring with 23 of 18 that's record of 127 the top order didn't put a lot but was a victory 18 of 35 anointed akibe 10 of 6 that's record of 166 if she had just kept in maybe she could have given her team a chance 
Salome Sunday 15 of 13, Speckle of 115. The rest of the batters they are leaving with tickets that resemble a telephone contact number. 12 extras bold into this one. And Nigeria will stop at only 92 all out in 15.1 overs. There we have the bowling figures. Most economical of the lot, Esther Wachera, the skipper, 3.1 overs, 13 dots, just 10 runs, and she picks up three wickets with an economy of 3.16. There we see Anne Wanjira with her magical spell of 4 overs, 17 dots, 22 runs, and three wickets with an economy of 5.5. 12 extras have been offered, a total of 92 of 10. There we have the best performances. Kenya's Gunta Abel there stood up to be counted with 60 of 48. Esther Wachira 20 of 41. Vanessa Ooko there with 15 of 15. In the bowlers there, only Piso Hussein and Lucky Peter picked one wicket apiece in their four and two overs respectively. Wendelidian there in the Nigerian innings stood up to be counted with 23 of 18. Gibine Dion for Savibie victory with 18 of 35. Salome Sunday 15 of 13, but not enough. Anu Wanjira leading there, the wicket taking three wickets there in four overs. Esther Wachira picked up three wickets in her 3.1 over spell. Lavenda Lidambo with two wickets in 28. Nigeria having won the toss and opting to bowl first. Kenya squad at 15 runs for a loss of six wickets in 20 overs. And in Nigeria have just managed only 92 runs in 10 overs. 92 runs all out in 15.1 overs. Kenya picking up the second consecutive win in this tournament, having beaten up Malawi by 23 runs. Today they beat up. I beg your pardon. Today they beat up Nigeria by 23 runs. These are some of the results that uh, we've had in this tournament. Kenya beating up Nigeria by 23 runs. Uganda beat up Zimbabwe yesterday by 75 runs. Cameroon beat up. Cameroon lost Nigeria by 9 wickets. Kenya beat Malawi by 33 runs. Rwanda beat up Botswana by 74 runs. Malawi lost to Rwanda by 9 wickets. Botswana beat up Cameroon by 44 runs. Uganda beat up Nigeria by 12 runs. Zimbabwe beat up Kenya by 56 runs. And Uganda beat up Botswana by 71 runs. But ladies and gentlemen, it is a rest day here in Chigali, Rwanda. We are in the land of a thousand hills, a thousand smiles, a thousand friends, and everything is moving as we had calculated it. In tomorrow's action, tomorrow in the morning, Uganda will be up against Malawi at Gahanga Main Oval. And at this ground, there shall be Cameroon up against Zimbabwe. Botswana will take on Nigeria at this very ground in the morning. I beg your pardon. Botswana in the morning will take on Nigeria at over B, while Kenya will take on Nigeria. I beg your pardon. Kenya will take on Rwanda at this very ground. The following day, Cameroon will play Kenya on over A in the morning, while Malawi will play Botswana on over B here in the morning. In the afternoon, Rwanda will play Uganda on the downer oval, while Zimbabwe will play Nigeria on this very 